morning everyone. It's another hot day in the valley today so we are headed up to Prescott to get some hiking and a picnic in the four of us girls. Just a day trip today. But thanks for coming along with us. We appreciate your support. Please hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you like, comment, let us know if you've been to Prescott before. It's bear country so we've got the bear spray today. Oh yeah. So the trail we're going to was a bear sighting just two weeks ago. Just the brown bear just on the middle of the trail. Yeah. But there's brown and grizzly bears where we're headed, correct? Mm. I'm not sure. I think there might be brown, black, and grizzly, but either way, we've got the bear spray. We're ready to go. We'll be loud, lots of yobos. <laughs> Yobo. <laughs> we'll be hollering anytime we get the spooks today. As you know, they're real. <laughs> we had, wanted to use today's hike to get to know, to have you guys get to know us a little bit better. Tell you a little bit about um, the RV life that we're pursuing. We dropped that bomb on you guys last time, but then just talked about minimalism. Um, and then just a little bit about our backstory, what led us to want to live this life. So that's what we hope to share with you today along with some beautiful views. So we're mid-July of 23, but we didn't actually start hiking until recently. It was um, this past fall before we moved to Phoenix. We've only been in Phoenix since this January. Yeah, we started June of last year and we started hiking. Okay. Oh, so it's been a little over a year. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so a little over a year. Um, but what kind of, how did we start hiking all of a sudden? Like, where did that come from? I think we were just like, well for you it was kind of like this use it or lose it, like as we're starting to age, but like, yeah. I think the big thing was in finding ways to have an active lifestyle outside of like workouts, because like I love to go to the gym, and for so many years worked in the gym. I hate to go to the gym. <laughs> I love it. I enjoy um, working out, but I hate going to the gym. And so pre-pandemic we were in the fitness industry for 10 years so we were active every single day and then so being at a desk job like starting at the end of 2020 to beginning of 2021 like we just found ourselves becoming so sedentary because of our jobs and it was depressed anxious lonely all those things that go with the sedentary life like they were they were really bringing me down I know for yeah sure. so just kind of trying to find a way that we could be active family um, and I mean like it was is what we found with that is the two of us can go we can take the dogs you or can go on a 30 minute hike you can go on a four hour hike you can pack a meal like and I guess we kind of started slowly too because it started with we would walk on just a paved bike path near our work at lunch breaks together we work together um, we both sit at a desk and sales jobs talk on the phone all day so we would take a long lunch break to break that up and go for a nice long walk on paved paths and like we really enjoyed that that might be kind of what the precursor was you can start anywhere right like we considered ourselves hikers then and we were um just because we have a lot more gear now <laughs> we bought the official gear that's how i like it so that's kind of where we started and then as we started hiking like in the woods more and on trails and you know uneven pavement loose footing stepping over things crawling under things realized although you like really move your body in a lot of unique ways functional ways when you're hiking and that sort of use it or lose it epiphany of you don't ever get any younger <laughs> it's the oldest i've ever been <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true for you too. <laughs> and so then, I guess um, speaking of I'm going through that tough time was at home, um, struggling with some mental health and depression and things like that. And I was actually watching um, these four boys from Ohio, which is where we're from, uh, Adventure Archives on YouTube. You should check them out. They do some amazing hikes. Started watching them hiking. And it was a lot of local hikes, but they were backpacking. And especially in their early years, we just sort of like looking at backpacking. I grew up camping and um, thought, man, if these guys can do it, 
we surely can do it. And they made it look so fun and they were inspiring. And even though they made mistakes early on and all those things, it kind of gave me the courage to want to give it a try. And I started nudging you about it. What was your first reaction when I brought up camping? Do you remember? We're doing it, we're doing it. Cause you gotta get all the gear. Like you gotta be all in. So <laughs> was that your first reaction? I can't remember. Yeah, I mean, I was all for it, but I just knew, like, because I remember even talking about, like, even a few years ago, and he's like, you want to camp? And I'm like, you gotta have all the gear, like, you know, and we didn't have it, I mean. I will say that with sleeping outside, um, having all the right equipment makes it a much more pleasurable experience. Uh, yeah, that was a big first investment. That's a funny story. Um, so, decided we were interested, but knew we were getting ready to move to Phoenix, and so... As you guys know, we only brought with us what fit in this vehicle. So when we were like at that point where we were kind of ready to start camping was when we were just, I mean, probably a couple months out from driving out to Arizona to move and we knew we were only taking what fit in the car. So we were like holding back on purchases, like don't buy anything new that you plan on taking because we were in such limited space. You know, we thought, oh, we're only going to camp once wait until we get to Phoenix to buy everything. Well, that changed. <laughs> yeah, so um, ended up taking a little time off of work to get ourselves prepped for the move and get our minds right and healthy again and decided, you know what, we're camping. <laughs> and uh, so our first day away from work, what did we do? <laughs> we went to REI and bought the whole list. So yeah, I had been researching gear and knew what I wanted and knew like, you know, what was my best value, what are the things you need high end on, what are the things you can get away with a little lower grade, and went and got like the basics, so sleeping bags, sleeping pads, tent, um, I think that was kind of the biggest ones, what else did we have to get for that first one, some, those were the biggest ones, yeah, for sure, sure. so then that was like on a Wednesday when we got everything, and called my parents, and our first camping was in their backyard, <laughs> yeah. um, like we're coming camping so we tried everything out didn't really ch check the weather um <laughs> woke up to frost so our gear worked but that was before the pups had their sleeping bags so they since have gotten their sleeping bags as well yeah. so that first night we had our sleeping bags zipped together so it was like <laughs> a queen mistake. so thinking like okay we'll do we'll fit in ours and then being together that wiggle room be able to fit the pups in our sleeping bag with us no <laughs> that did not fly actually dora stayed in the sleeping bag all night um but not this one not little miley she was like we had like five you saw how many blankets we bring we had like all those blankets piled on top of her and her buried in and she got cold we ended up having to go into your parents garage and sleep um, a little bit because we got cold but we went through the night um motivated to improve and do it again we still had so much fun yeah so we were able to get in two more camping trips in ohio before we left both at hocking hills yes um, which was a blast a two a one-nighter and a two-nighter right mm -hmm. yeah which was just about three hours from where we lived both times woke up in pouring rain the second time woke up in hail a hailstorm and was packing up the tent in a hailstorm yeah. but still had so much fun and just loved it, right? Like the more, like, um, you know, natural, I guess, like obstacles you go through, the more you're inspired, at least for us. Like it, it was like a, a good challenge, right? Like think of like a really tough workout, but like the one that you feel so accomplished once you've completed it and so proud of. And that's kind of what you I, we got from camping those first trips with the cold, rainy weather. Yeah, there's always going to be challenges and obstacles, but it's fun and it's so worth it just to be disconnected and together. And oh my gosh, so the first night we ever camped in Hogging Hill, so not in her dad's backyard, um, we just did a one night trip, like had our meals, brought, of course, you know, stuff to make some s'mores. <laughs> and so we're sitting by the fire and the dogs are on our, or in the chairs next to us. We brought them chairs, of course. They're in chairs next to us. We're all sitting by the fire and we're roasting marshmallows. And we hear like, what sounded like footsteps. footsteps. It was fall, so there was tons of fresh fallen leaves on the ground. So nobody or not even a mouse could sneak up on you because the leaves were so fresh and rumbly. 
And so we knew nobody was gonna, nothing or nobody was gonna sneak up on us. We had confidence. <laughs> so, Too much confidence. <laughs> so we're roasting marshmallows and it sounds like a person walking and it's dark and we're rookies. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that sounds like a person. I mean, like the pattern of steps, the size of the thing, the everything, it just sounded like a person. And then I was like, well, even if that's a person, I don't want them walking up on me. They're getting too close. Well, right. Yeah. So a couple minutes go by and those, that person is moving closer and that's, yeah. So then I'm like, okay, well, you know, we're sitting by the fire roasting marshmallows. I go, I'm like, well, get the flashlight and look for eyes, right? We told you the walking story. You can see eyes. I'm like, look for eyes. Nothing, you know, you're not going to be able to like not see the eyes. And so this one grips her flashlight and just very calmly puts it on and is like, Yep, it's a coyote. Get the dogs. Get the dogs. Put them in the car. Let's go. It's a coyote. It's so calm. And I'm like about to eat my perfectly toasted. It taking 20 minutes to slow cold and roast it. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I'm like, well, I get the dogs. Saw, you know, toss the marshmallow. We pick up the dogs. We put them, I think, right in the car. Right and in the, the coyote car. coyote yeah. immediately we went away. But it was probably what? 10 to 12 feet away from us. Yeah. Because we were camping on the edge of a tree line right against the edge of the forest where there was just a little clearing for the campground. Um, and there were two other campers with us that night. There was a, a, sing, a solo dude um, up, the, up the way, maybe like a 50 yards up, who like we could hear he would yell a little bit and, you know, those yo bears and throughout the night. And then there was a couple in a van that was across the way from us. We couldn't see them because they had their van positioned so we couldn't see each other, but you could hear them which gave you comfort, but they must have heard us yell at his suit. Cause you know, we started yelling once we realized it was a coyote and making noise and I handled it like pros. Yeah, I mean, we we kind of talked through those things, like what you would do in that situation. Yeah. yeah. yeah the, especially with the dogs, like having a plan to get yeah. the dogs. So we tell you all these stories to say this, like whether it's hiking, camping, anything that you might have an interest in, it's not too late, you don't have to be tough enough, strong enough, smart enough, whatever enough that you think is holding you back. Um, you just have to go for it. Take a step towards it and work your way up. You can do anything. Yeah, I mean, the great thing about hiking is I mean, there's just so many benefits, both physically and mentally, and being out in nature. and You always feel, I always feel good oh, out yeah. in nature. Even in those sleeting hailstorms, like, we were giggling and having so much fun. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to feel bad when you're out surrounded by nature. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. Take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run Standing on your knees? It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It can be a bit frightening it's something you don't know You need a little enlightening So we're out here in Prescott National, Prescott National Forest Hiking Being reminded of why we want to live life on the road And boondock and explore places in nature all over this country <laughs> It's beautiful here, we're in a beautiful pine forest and It smells good so nice not only is it like at least 15 degrees cooler here but we're in the shade there's not much shade in phoenix no. come on molly oh, nice. oh there's a nice picnic spot It can be a bit frightening It's something you don't know You need a little enlightening 
it'll make you grow It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the day If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there oh, It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the day If you have the will and a moment to spare Yeah, the picnic was the best. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, we packed sandwiches and chips and grapes and then packed the girls a camp meal. You want to tell them how the hike was? Dora's like, we had fun. It was a fun hike, huh? But so coming up here and finding some random park and forest, like my, I always say my favorite trail is a new trail, a trail I've never done before. So Every trail's... Her favorite trails we yeah, explore new like ones every time we do a new one because it's just you never know what's around the next corner especially like in a beautiful landscape and setting like this boulders rocks lakes pines wildlife and of course like to sit on my lap <laughs> but uh, so that's so that feeling that love and desire just explore new adventures and new spots and not knowing what you're going to see or what to expect. That's the fun part. And so I think that feeling is kind of what you we chase in RV life, right? When you downsize all your things and you know you can fit into, I think it's going to be 278 square feet or something like that. <laughs> we have maybe picked a RV, but coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think that was a big... You know, like, how did we get here? Why the heck are we buying an RV to live in and not just going back and living in our beautiful home? I think the constant search for adventure and exploring yeah. new and being able to do that on the road and open to new opportunities. You know, over the last couple of years, we've kind of been in a pivot with, you know, careers and what we're doing and what we're looking to do. And mm -hmm. I think just the opportunity to travel, we've kind of we've taken some road trips over the last couple of years and realizing, like, why don't we get to do this more often? I don't want to do this just once or twice a year, like a couple of weeks. Like, how do we make it the opportunity that that we can make this our lifestyle? And here we are, shopping for RVs. <laughs> We're getting ready to go back to Cleveland for the month of August to handle some things with our property there. We'll be there for 30 days. And truthfully, we'll be thrilled to get out of Phoenix for the heat for that time. So. It stinks that we have to go back and deal with what we're dealing with, but it's great that we get to go back and enjoy the best time of year to be in Cleveland and home. So when we we leave in like nine or ten days, yeah. we will take you along on that adventure. We're taking a four-day road trip uh, yeah. to get there, so we we'll have some exciting stuff. And, yep, we have a bonus surprise too. Stay tuned next week. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button below and just comment, I subscribed, and we'll be sure to get back to you in the comment section. Join us again next week. Thank you. Girls. You don't like that boat? No, you can't talk like this. Sydney. And I'm Mandy. <laughs> Sydney's wife. Thanks for coming along with our adventure. I'm Mandy. I'm Sydney. <laughs> I'm Sydney. That's Mandy. <laughs> I'm Mandy. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. <laughs> it's a beautiful world out there. And just don't pass on the day. If you have the will.